now, my friends. Um, okay, we are at um, the rest stop, just about 85 miles north of Bakersfield. And it was a nice little stay here. Um, we would definitely stay here at this rest stop in the future. There was a lot of truckers on the other side. Felt safe. It's very clean. They had guys here working and cleaning up first thing this morning. So, yeah, that work here. So it was really nice. Nice stay. All right. So we're going to head into Bakersfield and, and make our way up to Lake Isabella where my friend lives. And we're going to hang out there. And this time I'm going to be camping in the outskirts of where she lives where last time I stayed at my friend's house. So that's going to be cool to do something a little different up there this time. All right, so here we go. So we are now um, at 178 uh, where the freeway ends. And we're about to take 178 and go up the canyon that takes us to Lake Isabella. All right, so here we go. Okay, so see that canyon up ahead? We'll be eventually going up through there at some point or location, but um, it's a beautiful drive up there. All right, so here we go. Now this is the most spectacular drive I have ever gone on, is this 178 going up to Lake Isabella. Now on the left side of the road, as you are going up to Lake Isabella, you'll notice a river. That river is the Kern River that goes up uh, through the canyon and then actually goes into um, Lake Isabella. There is camping up there along the lake and also Kern River as well. Now notice as I'm going up the road, you'll see that it's very narrow, very tight, and tight turns. So that is why it was really important for us to use those turnouts and be courteous to those faster drivers. And especially in my type of rig or any RV type rig, you want to take it really slow and easy because sometimes as I was making those corners, you'll see a lot of uh, rocks <laughs> that are very close to the road as you, um, you know, come up to the edge or make your turns. So it was just really care. I was really careful about how I was driving up this road, but it really is an incredible drive. And for the first time when I leave Lake Isabella, I go out the other side of the lake, the back side taking um, 178 out the back as well. And so that was the first time. So look forward to that coming up in my future video as I leave Lake Isabella. And that drive was just, I, I, I'm speechless of the beauty that I saw going out the other side of it, okay? All right, so I hope you're enjoying this drive as I'm making my way up to the top or where Lake Isabella is at. Yay, we finally make it to Lake Isabella. Stay tuned for more videos of our time here. And I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. And enjoy the view.